started raining again. All right, so today we are driving right now to a neighboring town to mine to pick up a new project. Today I'm going to be buying a $300 rally car. That's right, for $300, yeah, that's beautiful, I know, right? I'm going to be buying a car that is perfectly suitable for rally, specifically with the SCCA of Iowa. They have, they basically take a cornfield and we just race in it. Luke did it with the Rod Stang previously. It looks like a shitload of fun. I wanted to get in on the action and I needed a car. And a buddy of mine said, hey, I got this car. It's gonna be going to the scrapper if you don't want it, or I'll give it to you for 300 bucks. And I said, sold. So, I bought this. Let's go look at it now. It hasn't run in two years. Uh, it's been sitting there. I got a, a tire with some air in it, some gas, a battery, a screwdriver, a knife. Let's see what we can make happen. Oh, and a pliers, that's important. So, we're gonna pull up to this place, check this thing out and see if we can get it running. Let's begin. All right, so we're here. Everything is a muddy freaking mess because it absolutely poured today. But this is going to be our ultimate $300 rally car. That's right, it's an 81 Oldsmobile Delta 88. It's actually a pretty solid car. It's a 307 V8. Um, I don't know what the hell these have for transmission. No one cares. It's got a flat tire. I got the battery. We're going to throw it in and see if we can get it running. All right, coming inside here. Beautiful 1981 cloth red interior. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and pop our hood. Get a look under there so we can get this battery in. There we go, 307 cubic inches of fury. Let's grab a battery and throw it in here. This could be a pretty easy revival. All right, battery's in here. You got her tightened down. It's the stupid side post, so you can't really get a booster pack on it very well. This is, let's get this sucker off. See what we got going on under here. Oh yeah, plenty of mice. Doesn't look like they got to the carb though, so that'll be okay. <laughs> um, pop some vacuum lines off. Get this sucker out of here. Dump it out. Heat riser. God damn, how much junk is on this engine? Finally. Thank you, sir. Bunch of goodies. So we're looking at a quadra jet here, four barrel actually, so that'll be good. Doesn't look like our secondary is open all the way. That's the way it was designed. Let's get our air cleaner finagled back in there. 10,000 hoses. Oh, no. Let's even hook our heat riser up and pull there and take why not. This is quality. Never had such a nice nice vehicle for a revival. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna grab some card cleaner. We'll spray her down the intake and see if she lights off. Okay, I'm gonna have Joey crank it over while I get some juice down his throat here. Let's see if she wants to light or fight. All right, hit it. Mm. All right, maybe that battery's not as good as I thought. All right, we got the booster pack hooked up now. A little more juice down his throat. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have a bad starter and this thing cranks fine. Let's find out. Go for it. Oh, yeah. it sounds like I have an accelerator pump, kind of. Maybe. All right, try it now. Fighting. 
All right, go for it. Alive! Yeah. Yeah. Must have an exhaust leak. <laughs> yeah. There's a little one. <laughs> Even idle. Let's see. Let's see if it'll move. Why not? <laughs> My run's pretty damn good. Right. Oh, perfect rally car. Does. Uh, oh. awesome. <laughs> Electric wind of the brakes feel good. There's drive. Oh, dude. It says it's got a three quarter tank. It's a rear defrost. The damn radio works. <laughs> we got a check engine light, a brake light. fan She's running a little high right now so this is a vacuum line let's get that hooked back up to our air breather Oh yeah mellows right out Damn, the thing runs good. It runs better than most of my cars, actually. <laughs> Sweet, yeah, let's put a tire on this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and even shut it off, I'm confident. All right, let's get our old tire off. There we go. Brush some grass and spider webs out. Brakes are present. I'm sure they work, but it's fine. It'll run. Sweet. Our spare in the trunk was the right tire and everything. All right, so our tire's on there. I think we have, morally, we have one more test to do before we drive home. We'll do a burnout on wet pavement. Let's find out. Hey, 
out of four is not bad. Hey, it ain't bad. I'll take that. All right, so now we're gonna put some gas in this, load it up with whatever tools I need to make it home, and drive 20 miles that way. We know it'll do burnouts, so theoretically, it will. we're good to go. What could go wrong? We'll find out. All right, maiden voyage. Our trip home. We got lights, we got brakes. Might only have front brakes, but it's the thought that counts. Right, as long as you're going forward. Yeah. One more Bernie before we hit the road. <laughs> that was a good one. All right, what we got for gears? There's second or third or something. I should probably put a seat belt on. It's got one of them. Look at that. Let's adjust our mirrors. Even. Oh, yeah, yeah there, there it goes. Adjustable mirrors are adjusted. We've got a half a tank of gas. I put a couple gallons in there, so I know I at least have enough to make it home. Life is good in the Oldsmobile. Check this out. Electronic winders, ever, ever so slowly. There we go. Man, this is just stylish, really. I am just floating down the road, doing 35 like it's no one's business. Oh shit, there's third. It just grabbed third, we're cruising at 45 now. We got brights. I don't know, I don't know how to. Oh, we got brights. I can't see a goddamn thing. I just pulled a goddamn abandoned car out from behind a shed and I am just casually driving it home 20 minutes after starting it. We got we got a check engine light, if you want to call it that. But I there's really no computer. Well there might be a ignition computer or something, but <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Let's get on it. Let's do the floor. Entering the atmosphere in three, two, one. <laughs> this is amazing. I, <laughs> oh, f it's raining again. The wipers are toast. I might, I might end up sticking my face out the window. Coming up to the corner now. It's still running. I still got brakes. I'm gonna turn on my left blinker. Look at these luxuries. This thing is amazing. It's actually in pretty damn good shape. I almost feel a little bad going to rally cross it. Is this a, this is a four speed. What? Yeah, I guess, yeah, three, two, one drive or one, two, three drive, whatever. Yeah, this thing is so cool. <laughs> I, Dylan McCool, I understand now why you like 80 shit boxes. I've never owned one or I don't, I don't think I've really driven one. But this thing, this is where it's at. If you can get a car that runs and drives and will take you anywhere with four gears for 300 bucks, what? I'm doing life wrong, man. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> that, that's the best horn ever. <laughs> this, this goddamn car, man, this thing is... <laughs> this is the best $300 I have ever spent. Look at these birds. I don't know if you can see them, but walk aboard. This is absolutely amazing. Downshifts on the hills and the mud. Whoa. Get yourself a Dolzenville Delta 88, let me tell you, it is just a hoot. A honk of a time. <laughs> Oh, this is good. I can't see anything though. <laughs> that's, that's so good. Oh God. But yeah, we're rolling up to home right now. It made it. Um, next step, I think I'm gonna wash it because it's raining and what else do I do in the rain? Actually, maybe I won't. The car washer's broke right now. Dylan, you, you got me this time. 
If you guys do have the urge for to watch some power washing though, go check out the gang. Dylan McCool, Classic Mustangs 429, Thunderhead 289. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This car will be back and it will be doing some crazy shit. I don't know, maybe nitrous, turbos out the hood, 87 superchargers, who freaking knows, you know? Who freaking knows what you're gonna do with a $300 Oldsmobile Delta 88? But I do know I'm gonna pull in the home now, so make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you think this is the most amazing car ever. I do, look at that body roll, oh my God. <laughs> but we've, we're, we're home, we did it. Hey mom, come on out. The train's here. Look there, it's the honeymoon car. Yeah, that's right. These people, this old lady here, she went on her honeymoon in one of these. Come check it out. Wow. Ours was an old Delta 88 Old Royale, but in 84. Looks a lot like this. Wow. Oh my, I don't Surges remember the ceiling that. looking like that though. <laughs> With all these head pins. Wee -hee -hee. Wee -hee. Oh. oh mom, we're crashing! <laughs> oh no! We gotta clean these traps up right here, buddy. Yeah, we can create. What do you think? Well of the most powerful vehicle ever made. Kind of reminds one hundred and twenty-ish maybe of the car. That was the name of it, the car. Oh. <laughs> See, we're really original at naming things here, if you can't tell. That's the Le Mans, the skid loader, the silver truck. This is the car version 2. Yeah. So what you're saying is this is the most amazing vehicle you've ever been in. Well... It's definitely better than this a 525i BMW. It was our wedding car and our honeymoon car, so... Did it have a horn like this? I don't remember. Is that it was amazing? a lot prettier than this. A oh, lot cleaner smelling. There is no such thing as It was maroon beauty. and silver and it was an 84. This is a maroon. And silver. The silver A maroon right? and horsepower. We had amber and orange tail lights though. Those were pretty sharp. Okay. Well, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, subscribe uh, for the honeymoon car to become a rally car. I don't know, you'll see. <laughs> Follow the crew, Classic Mustangs 429, Dylan McCool, Thunderhead 289. I will see you next time on Junkyard Digs. <laughs> oh, it's got the nut blower, the, the ball cooler. <laughs> this is the best part.